Watch you guys, got another video here for you. Now this one's been requested by quite a few of my YouTube members. They want to know how to create their own uh, MS Dart multi-boot USB flash drive or DVD drive or an ISO image so they can burn it to a disc or whatever. So I thought I'd make a quick video to show you how to do that. Now you're going to need to make sure that you've got all these uh, ISO images here, okay? Now don't ask me for these files. I'm not going to be giving them out to people, okay? You're going to need to get these yourself. Uh, purchase these and get hold of them yourself I'm not going to be uh, putting download links for this okay so as you can see here we've got uh, ERD 50 right away up to 80 and they've all been updated with all the latest updates for Windows and also all the latest uh, Windows uh, Defender updates uh, remote uh, remote connections been added in there so we can do remote support as well that's all been added on as well now these are 32-bit and 64-bit versions from XP right up to Windows 8 as you can see. So that's what you're going to need to uh, do. Now I'm using ISO images here. I've created ISO images instead of .wim files because I want to use Xboot because it's nice and easy and quick. So let's get started. So I'm going to close this off and uh, open up Xboot. Now you've seen me use Xboot before. Okay, so what we're going to do here is going to just drag and drop these files into here. Okay, that's all we need to do. And you can create your ISO image or you can create a USB flash drive if you've got the flash drive plugged in. And uh, if you want to burn a DVD, you can just put all these in here, create the ISO image and then use image burn to create your DVD disc. OK, whatever. So let's get started. So let's open up our uh, MS Dart folder. Let me just uh, this. I think my mouse has gone a bit mad here. Let me just uh, pull this to one side. So we can see. Okay, so I'm going to do one at a time so you can see what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to pull this in like so and then pull this across. So all we need to do here now is select an actual area here. Okay, now there is MS Dart ERD here for XP. I'm not going to do this one. Okay, I'm just going to do it as a grub for DOS ISO image emulator and then add that file. This will rename the file for you. You can rename it yourself if you want. You just have to double click on this if you want and it will change that for you there. But we'll leave that as is and uh, all we need to do next is uh, grab another file and we'll do this uh, Vista one. And uh, we're just going to do the same thing. Add file. And we'll do the next one. And then you just can go through the motions here and add these in, okay? Like so. Add that file. You can see these getting added in. Now you can grab all of these in one go if you want. I'm just going to do it one at a time so I can show you. I've got a couple of more to do, pretty straightforward stuff. Then add that file and one more. Is this one? And add that. Okay, now we've finished with that and we can now straighten this up. So now we've got all these files in here. Now you can rename these at any stage you want. I'm going to leave mine as ERD on here. You can call them MS Dart, as I said, and do whatever you like, but I'm going to leave them like this. Once you've got that done, Okay, you can now create your ISO image. All you need to do is click on create. It's going to name this um, xboot.iso. I'm happy with that. I can rename that later on once I finish. Or you can rename it now if you wish. Okay. So I'm going to just going to click OK. And uh, we'll just leave that to do its thing and then come back in a sec. Now, once you've got this, you can actually test it with this program. But we'll boot into it itself and then have a look. Okay, that's now created. Now you can boot to this, but I want to show you what it looks like fully booted up and I'll do that. So I'm going to say no. I can close this off. So let's boot to the actual ISO image itself. So I've got this ISO here. So I'll quickly restart. Now 
Okay, so here we have our actual menu as you can see here. This is the one we've just created. Now take note of the actual multi-boot Microsoft Diagnostics and Recovery Toolset. The title at the top, I've changed that. That normally says uh, Xboot uh, DVD, but I've changed that. Um, but you can change it to whatever you like. So what we're going to do here is boot up to ERD70, Windows 7, 32-bit. I'm going to click on that and let this load up. Now you can choose here to have a network connectivity so you can access the internet. I'm going to say no to this and uh, we're going to say yes to that. Just leave that as uh, US. Go next here. And there you can see the actual uh, system recovery options. But down the bottom now we've got this Microsoft Diagnostics and Recovery Toolset added in. So we're going to click on that and this will open up all the tools uh, on the actual image that we've just created there as you can see. We've got Registry Editor, Locksmith and all those other good tools uh, which you can use to fix a lot of issues. You've got SFC Scan Now, uh, Hotfix, Uninstall and so on and so on. So you can use this to fix a lot of your issues and that's how you make a multi-boot um, MS Dart disk or USB flash drive or ISO. So let's restart the system. So we'll just let this boot back up to the desktop. And there we're back at the desktop. But I think that's going to be about it for this video. So I hope this really helps you out, guys. Uh, have a go at yourself and get yourself a multi boot MS Dart uh, USB flash drive or ISO or DVD, and that will help you. Uh, fix a lot of Windows issues, okay? So, hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, hit that subscribe button, guys, and that will keep you up to date with all the latest videos. Also, hit that like button, and that really does help me out a little bit, and I will make more videos in the future. So, thanks again for watching, and thanks for sticking around. Bye for now.